is this? What is this? Last, last, now everybody go to breakfast. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So today is the 31st of August, but a lot has happened and good things have happened. I'm very happy. The first thing I will just start with because I'm too excited. I fixed my fridge. Yes, the big mama over there that's making too much noise. It's fixed, babe. It's fixed. Imagine for the past three months, I haven't had a fridge. I haven't had been... I miss yogurt, I miss cold food, I miss, I miss being able to just stock up on fruits and veg. I'm actually even realizing now the milk that I had, I haven't even put it in the fridge because I'm, I've been used to just having milk out and waiting for it to rot and then throwing it out. So, but yeah, I got that sorted out yesterday because I got my fridge fixed last night, which was Friday, today, Saturday. I immediately made sure I, <laughs> I ordered my usual yesterday, made sure it was for early morning delivery. I got them. I got my peppermint tart recipe ingredients. Ooh, I almost my cup. Yeah, I got my peppermint tart recipe ingredients. So I'm gonna be doing that right now. I'm gonna be going to Rosebank to just enjoy myself a little bit, spoil myself a little bit, do the things, you know what I'm saying? And then I might pick up a few things there because also like I'm confused. Like I wanna go to Rosebank today for my own leisure, fun things, but also I wanna go to Rosebank for grocery shopping, but I can't do it today. I'm gonna have to do it tomorrow, Sunday. But Sunday I'm also getting my hair done, by the way, which is why I'm actually standing in front of y'all with a bonnet on. I'm also waiting for my order, which should be here soon, my breakfast order for some new restaurant that I tried out. I forgot the name, I'll try plug it somewhere, or I'll mention it when I come back. But let me just sort everything out and then we'll talk. My food is here. The place where I got my food is actually called Munch Cafe in Park Town. But let me see if the driver is here. Give me a second. We secured the food. I got my breakfast from Munch Cafe in Park Town. I just wanted to try out a new restaurant today. I'm not even gonna lie to you. I could have eaten at home, but like I could have made breakfast. I have everything, but I just wanted to try out a new restaurant, and it popped up. And I think I should have eaten it, eaten it earlier because now the bread probably so. <laughs> Never again. What is this? What is this? Okay, maybe the delivery driver, maybe. Mm, maybe. But also, if you know you make sandwiches, don't you put that to make sure it stays together? Because that means it was supposed to be sitting. Oh, there with that bacon look good though. Okay. The more I look at it, the more I realize it doesn't look bad. It's just the presentation. That's what it's supposed to look like. Do you see that? That's what it's supposed to look like. And it looks good. That fits a cheese. Hmm. Hmm. Um, I'll probably talk to you guys when I'm getting ready to step out. So, also, I don't know what I'm going to do on my hair. But we'll talk about it later. But yeah. <laughs> Not you placing it for me. What is it? I'm like, oh, with the pineapple. Oh, there is my pineapple in there. And watch how it's going to taste better than yours that doesn't have the pineapple. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see me. There's the lighting, honey. <laughs> but we're currently at Fugazi and Rosebank just having some drinks like guys I'm sorry I didn't have time to shoot anything I had so much fun we went um, go-karting I had so much fun like I still have like muscle ache if that makes sense for like the steering wheel um, we did a bit of shopping babes I had a full day um, also that flipping cosmopolitan is, is getting in I'm on my second one I had a Negroni can we talk about the fucking Negroni I bought the Negroni, think it's gonna taste great. Took a sip, hated it, and now I have to pay for a Negroni I never had. It's fine. Anywho, so I'm just gonna be on us. I think for the rest of the night, I'm not gonna record anything. I'll talk to y'all tomorrow when I wanna go to my head. Peace out.
Sorry about the noise. My neighbor's playing music, but it's the next day. Um, this is the best I look for my hair appointment. It's supposed to be at half past ten. Right now, it's literally two ten. Um, I'm just gonna warm up my meal from last night because I didn't eat it. I just ordered it yesterday and eat it, and then eat that, and then I'll see you guys at the salon. I'm currently at Lex, yes, and my hair is not done. I'll tell you guys probably the drama later, but for now I'm just gonna do my simple grocery shopping and let life be. Just know that if you are gonna find a braider in Bonfontaine during month, they don't. Don't. They are, I don't want to use the word useless, but they literally, they literally have so many customers, they don't mind losing one, if that makes sense. So they're not gonna care about you, they don't care. So right now I'm just at Lakes um, with Kea, but we're gonna go to shop right because I need to do some grocery shopping. So I might as well do it today and not waste my Sunday, you know. And then I'm thinking maybe I might do corn rolls, and then I'll braid probably next week, you know, because I don't have time, guys. It's like two, it's like one o'clock right now, so. So yeah, that's the update. Ratana, can you give me some of it? You can go. That's good. That is good. This is all my game. Richie, get in there. And this is what we have. Mm. And wash her hair. Wash. She was she was scrubbing into my scalp. And she took her time washing it. Cause also, you know what? What's the one thing I told her? I told her I, I have been using a lot of gel, so that she didn't rub up my hair. But yeah, I don't know. Treat me the moisturizing at one fifty. This is the best I can do, guys. This is the best I can do. I'm so mad that I didn't get braids. I'll get them next week or next of next week. It's fine. For now, this has to do because I could not go to work with the hair head. So this is way better. Quick update. I'm just having a mimosa. A mimosa. Uh, Ikea's place. Uh, my cousin's place. Just having some mimosas. Um, and then I'm gonna go home soon. We also having some herb, a little bit of shisha, as they say. But yeah, the day turned out great. After all the fuck ups, it turned out great. And Kia was holding my hand through these fuck ups. She, <laughs> she actually helped me get the lady. I did mention that, but yeah. So, cheers. Yon. Cheers. I'm here to update y'all. Was that gel? That was gel. I'm not gonna like this because it's gonna make it look dirty very quickly. Anyway, update. A lot has happened. Shop. Yesterday, Saturday, we went to Rosebank. We did our things, had fun. We I, I did go-karting, lost, great. I even lost two children, guys. It's so pathetic. But I had so much fun. I encourage y'all at our youthful age. Sometimes, instead of going to groove and going to drink the money, go do some fun things. Yes, go cutting in Rosebank, 150 for eight minutes. And I think it was what? 300 for 20. And I'm not gonna tell, I'm not gonna lie to you. That eight minutes sounds like a very short time. When you're in there, go karting. I was like, somebody, I'm like, I'm sure my money has already like run out. Cause how are we still here? I had so much fun, and it made me realize how when I have a car, and I'm driving, I'm gonna be a menace in these streets. But anyway, besides that, we ended up going to Fugazi, grabbing a few drinks. Hmm. Yay! In the Why is there a TikTok sound that says 
yeah, and a Negroni, what are you know that one? Like, what do you drink? Like, what's your favorite drink? And it's like, what are you doing? I tried a Negroni because of that, babes. I took a sip, ne? I took a sip and I said, oh, it tastes like Ellie. Like the bitterness of it, not it tastes like it. the bitterness of it is the bitterness that you taste when you have raw alu that you've taken out of a tree now and you're like, and then it simply goes in your mouth. That's what it is. I was like, what? Disgusting. So besides that, I took a sip. It, it was so bad that I, I even I called the, uh, the lady who was like assisting us and I said, uh, horrible. She's like, yeah, no, girly, babe. Not a lot of people love Negroni. I was like, I was just trying it out. And she's like, no, you're going to have to pay for it. I'm like, I never said paying for it. It was, not, it was an issue. Money ain't the issue. Taste is the issue. So I was like, no, man, I'll just, just take it back. They can toss it out, whatever. But I'd like to get a Cosmopolitan. So I got myself a Cosmopolitan. Babes, it clapped me, eh? But dude, I don't know what happened. She clapped me good. I was like, you know? Um, so my day basically ended it. That's, I hope you guys saw that. I'm just trying to recap everything. Today, I was supposed to go braid my hair. Tell me why the lady was like, I was 30 minutes late. And it's one of those places in Rose Garden, in Brownfontein where... They braid you and then all of a sudden you're the lady who's braiding you stops braiding you and hey hey there's a lady you know what made me leave this first of all my lady was like one hour 30 minutes late sharp we leave it on top of that she sends me and says ask my mama to start you up i'm like who says i want three people on my head i booked on monday for sunday she couldn't make it on time and on top of that you want somebody else to do my hair i said I asked the lady, she's like, as you can see, I'm busy. The lady that she said must start me up was do, already doing three other people's hair braids, by the way. Three other people's hair braids. The lady behind me is one of them. She got mad at some point and like, where's the lady who's bloody doing my hair? I've been here for three hours already and I'm still here. She had this much hair in the front left. And you know, the back moves fast. Ne? This section here, you know you'll be there for another three hours because of just this section here. When I saw that happen, I'm like, this is a lot talking to me, Amanda. I was like, first of all, I haven't done my grocery shopping. It's Sunday. Shops close early. I'm already here. It's already like, what, past 11? When I'm, shops close by 2. I'm not going to be done before 2. So I said, you know what, this is a clear sign. Maybe you're not meant to braid your hair today. I literally just got up peacefully and walked off. I hear the lady calling me, hey, 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 come back. She says she's almost here. I just kept walking. You'll never see me in brown again. So I said, uh. No, I'll do this another time. So I ended up calling my cousin Kia. I'll say, hey, where you at? Home. Yeah, help me find somebody. The people who I was finding that were available, hey, their prices were hectic. <laughs> Yo, their prices were hectic. I said. So, because my hair was shit. You, you guys saw my hair. You guys saw my hair. My hair was shit. And also, like, when, when you've dyed your hair and it looks like shit, it looks worse. It looks like cack, you know? So, I knew that I had to, like, braid my hair today. By fire, by force, I had to braid my hair today. So... I decided to go get my groceries, which we're going to unpack. I have left them over there. I, I need to unpack my groceries. Oh, my God. I love that. But I have a fridge. Still. I haven't bought meat, though. So I'm going to buy meat tomorrow. I am trying to gather the strength to tell myself that I'm going to go get veggies back. Yeah. Yo, and it's not mentally clocking in, eh? Veggies and fruit. Like, Amanda, come on. Get them tomorrow, you know? But, yeah. So, we went, bought a few stuff. And then she found me a lady literally down the road from her house who washed my hair and braided it. And I told her, like, babes, I've been using a lot of gel, so wash, you know what I'm saying? And she did it. She did it well. And she braided my hair with 45 minutes for the whole thing. 45 minutes, here I am. Here I am, looking like the Betty I am. You know what I'm saying? So now I'm just like, I'm cool with this. I'm thinking I'm going to either braid next week. I have to let this in. This is money still. So I'm like, I'm either going to leave it for the next two weeks and then the next, the last two weeks of the month, I can braid. Hopefully I haven't child the money by then. Hopefully I haven't child the money by then. Anyway, so that's basically where we are right now. Oh, I thought I could come back home and like cook. I got home at like half past six from gas place. I'm not cooking. So I decided to get myself putting cords on the table, on the bed. Don't judge me. I ring light. I, so I got myself some shigiligin. Got myself some shigiligin. And yeah, I got myself just 12 wings. I don't know if you guys can see them in there. So yeah, I, uh, nothing hectic. Honestly, I ain't got more. Okay? <laughs> no, nothing hectic. But this is going to be my dinner. And yeah, that's it. So for now, we are going to pack up everything and then the rest will see it 
can't it's itchy the rest you'll see it within the week you'll see them within the week but for now i'm just very grateful to the lord that i'm able to even take care of myself just thank you lord honestly <laughs> thank you lord guys do you see all the things i have i have to figure this shit out and half of these don't even belong in the fridge <laughs> so let me sort that out let me sort that out and i'm getting mighty tired of your traveling ways and are listening to that jackass bray <laughs> So those are the only fridge worthy things I have so far. Please tell me why I when I got my meal I forgot to chop my chips on time and now you we all know McDonald's chips at this point are just drugs. Let me see if I can help save them. I don't think I can honestly, but that's it for fridge stuff. The rest I'll just unpack off camera, but besides all that, I will see you guys in the next clip. Well, <clears throat> Hi kids, today is the next day, it's Monday 2nd of September and I come from Gark, well from work, and I decided to go to Gark. So I just wanted to show you guys the fruits that Gark has to offer, figuratively and literally the fruits of their lib. But, because I've seeing like a lot of people looking down on Gark, but that's where I get my veggies, that's where I get my fruits at a very affordable price. All the things I want to get, like show you guys now, I got them for like 80 bucks. You see, well... This whole McDonald's bag with a fruit and veg. So let's start. So I got bananas, but I done squished some of them, but that's on me. That's on me. Unfortunately, I didn't have the best pick. I will not lie. That's where I get sometimes you have to be patient and walk around. But I got bananas for 10 bucks. And I got pears. The pear. One, two, three ooh, four four of them for i think it was 15 though and i got chili this is a lot of chili bro like this it's a lot of chili for seven rand because i wanted to make salsa lemons one two three four lemons in quite good condition five rand one two three four potatoes great looking Five rand. Four onions, also good condition, not sm uh, rotten or feeling like, you know, like when it's soft, so you know it's already rotten in the core or some part of it is a bit rotting. Great. Five rand. Oh, D, 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 now cheese. One, two, three, four. Little, I think they were like 10 rand, I think. The last thing I got. What is this? Oh, red onions. One, two, three, four, five. Five red onions. I think there were five rand, if not ten. But I won't lie, there's a defect in there. I don't think it's a defect necessarily. I think it's a bit too exposed, so it's the one I should make or use first. But the others are great. So yeah, all that for like, I think I had 70 bucks because I had like 80 something rand. So it's actually less, 60 something rand. For all of these because i had 80 something rand and some coins change from 100 rand go to gark kids so that's all i wanted to show you guys today all right go to gark get your fruits and veg there you won't die there's better ones for like 15 20 bucks but for the rest of us we're trying to keep it you know budget safe we take it to five ten rand ones so go to gark guys look what your girl just made for dinner i fought today i made some sticky chicken mash and the salad and with the salad i made my own greek um salad dressing i followed the recipe i'm gonna taste now and see if it's the one but your girl fought today your girl fought so it's friday it's friday it's friday it's friday it's friday it's like over a couple of maybe two weeks later <laughs> but anyway it's, it's like what the 14th of september my sister and I are going to go get massages. She booked massages for the both of us. So I have to go to her house right now. Meet up with her, then we request to the spa. So that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm too excited for that, bro. I'm, 
I'm too excited. Like today is so hot, guys. Like it's like what 30 degrees today. Just want to keep y'all an update and say going to get massages. So yeah, let's go. Today is basically the next day. We got massage yesterday. It was a really great experience. We went to Kai Tai Spa in Randburg. Excuse me, when I say today, the whole of Sunday today, I've just been sleeping. Like, I'm actually getting up right now to go to my cousin and just chill there. I don't know if I'm gonna vlog that though. But excuse me. But yeah, yo, it was such a. Yo, I needed it. Yo, I needed it. Yo, yo. Now I'm realizing massage, it has to be something I do every month. So I don't know where I'm going to get that money from, but I'm going to have to do it every month. <laughs> but with that being said, um, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in the next video.